Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. We're in the fish room. Specifically, we're talking about Mega Tank. Hopefully it doesn't have a mega problem. Mega Tank, if you haven't been here before, is my eight foot by four foot by three foot aquarium. Home currently to a giant snakehead called Gordon and an angry tilapia. For the main part, these two get on fine. They kind of hang out like this. Gordon, the snakehead, is an emperor snakehead. He's just over two foot long. Um, so he's a big old fish, but he's really quite peaceful. And this angry little get, so you can see on his nose, he's got a bit of a scar on his nose because he likes to pick fights. So it was every once in a while he would, and it's not over food, it's not over anything in particular, he'll just like go up to Gordon and have a go, so to speak. And it's just getting a little bit more frequent. And Gordon will, nine times out of ten, just get out of the way, go and hide under his... We've got a structure here full of um, wood, which he just goes and kind of hides behind. But every now and again, if it gets a bit much, he'll give it back. So the tilapia's got a little bit of a mark, which is healing fine. Um, I'm trying to reduce aggression, so there's only two fish in this big old tank and we've been talking on my live streams um, shout out for my live streams, Friday night 9pm or you can check out the second channel if you don't fancy sitting through it on a Friday night usually has the clips for the quiz and all those kind of things about what else to put in here, so I wanted to put in a school of Oscars ultimately uh, but we've been talking about other things we could put in there, is effectively dither fish and because it's such a big fish tank. Dither fish are usually things like tetras, danios, um, small little fish to bring out bigger fish, but in this case it could be any big old fish. So I've gone for some silver dollars right now. So ultimately I have three Oscars in here which are now hiding because I've brought the camera out. So that one's probably big enough to go in there. The other two are a little bit too small. So maybe when the smaller ones get to that size I'll put them in that tank. But for now, I have these bags. Yes, ultimately I do want to put more big fish in here, big centipede fish. We've been thinking about stingrays, arowanas, big cichlids, something like that. But for now, I just want to let these two have something else to focus their attentions on. And I've bought some um, silver dollars. We've got two types of silver dollars here generic silver dollar. Um, I went to my local Maidenhead Aquatics and got the biggest ones that they had. I'm picking silver dollars because I think they'll be a little bit more active, constantly moving around, which will give these fish something else to focus on, uh, rather than just having another big stationary fish that they could target. So I'm hoping this isn't going to be the most expensive snack that I've ever bought for these fish because I've also got some bandied silver dollars which were not cheap. So I've got three banded silver dollars, which cost me a hundred quid, and then two regular silver dollars. I think they cost me 30 quid. So yeah, this could be the biggest snack in history. To put the fish into the tank, what I've done is I've been floating the bags here in the tank to get them to the same temperature. I'm then going to use the plop and drop technique where I put these bags, empty them out over a bucket into a net and net the fish in. So I'm not putting the same dirty, potentially dirty water into my fish tank. I'm going to turn the lights off and do that, and then we'll come back in a minute. Okay, they've been in around about an hour now. I've had the light on for the last half hour. As you can see, we've got the silver dollars tightly packed, and it's worked to a degree. So they are definitely distracting the tilapia. I think the tilapia just has anger issues. So the fact that the silver dollars are quite tightly grouped, quite fast, they seem to be fast enough. Um, as you can see, it's not completely worked because the tilapia is still having the odd pop at the snake head there. But the tilapia has been chasing the silver dollars as well, which has largely stopped now. I think he's maybe not given up, but there you go. You can see he's half-heartedly chasing them. I think he knows he just can't catch them now. So to that degree, that's worked. Now I'm worried that the silver dollars are going to be super stressed out. Um, so at least while he's chasing them, he's not annoying the snakehead. I'm considering putting the Oscars in because the smallest Oscars are almost the same size as the silver dollars, the smaller silver dollars. 
and the biggest one is obviously a bit bigger and I'm thinking is more just better so the more I put in there the more things will distract from the one fish getting picked on by the tilapia ultimately am I going to have to rehome the tilapia because he's just not going to get on with anything else only time will tell let me know in the comments what you would do do you think I should put in the Oscars given the size that they are at the moment or do you think I should wait and see if I can give them a couple of months to grow out a bit more Oscars are pretty fast growing so maybe they can do that but in terms of just additions to the tank I think the silver dollars make a a great addition. I've never kept silver dollars before and they certainly add a lot of movement to the tank and they're quite pretty. And see, they are, if nothing else, taking the attention of the tilapia off the snakehead. But yeah, the silver dollars, you can see there we've got three banded silver dollars there, the expensive ones. Uh, they've got that kind of iridescence, piranha-like look to the, the larger normal ones. Uh, I think they look quite cool in their own, of their own accord. So even though they've bought them as dither fish here for a specific purpose, I think they make good additions to the tank anyway. So, I've been down here for this part of an hour, worrying about this. I think I need some way of monitoring this. And it just so happens, I've been sent a little something. I was looking for something that could help me monitor the fish room when I'm not in the fish room. And good people from Galaxy U sent me this, a G2, which is a 2K, it's a home security camera, but it's full pan tilt zoom, uh, it can move around, it's got um, two-way audio, so I can talk to my fish if I want to do that, uh, night vision, motion detection, it's got the ability to store data on an SD card inside it, as well as a cloud if you sign up for the cloud service, but I basically just want to use it so I can use an app on my phone, to move around, if I mount this somewhere centrally, I need to have a think about where to put it. I can control it with my phone to look around and just check on the fish. So for right now, I'm probably just going to put it over this side of the fish room, pointing at Mega Tank, so as I can make sure, at least for the next couple of days when I'm not here, I can just keep checking in and see if anything's getting too stressed or there's too much chasing going on, I can come down and I might just have to separate some fish and move them around. But I've had a quick look uh, and a quick test of this camera really good, I'll show you some screenshots of it just now um, that will overlay over the video but really happy with the quality of it so I think it's going to work out just right if you want a more of an in-depth review of this let me know, I'll maybe put in something a bit later but so far, so good link in the description if you want to buy one for yourself and of course, if the tilapia doesn't calm the hell down we might just send Humphrey in to give him a piece of a piece of his considerable mind um, Humphrey also has anger issues. <laughs> Tell you, buddy. Arr, I'm gonna kill you. But you'd sort out that tilapia, wouldn't you? I call that a success in the very short time period that we've given it so far. So time will tell. Uh, we can't really see anything for sure yet. Limited success, we'll call it. I just think I need to add more fish to disrupt things more so as no one fish is getting too stressed out. So let me know if you think I should put in the Oscars that I talked about earlier. The biggest one, he is a good seven, eight inches. Still a little bit smaller than this guy who's probably getting closer to a foot, if not a bit more. Um, the other ones are maybe five or six inches. I'm just thinking if they put in enough hides, a bit more decoration, places to hide, it might work, I don't know. Or if you get any hits on people trying to rehome bigger fish, let me know in the comments or reach out on Discord. If not, um, join me on Friday night for the live stream. Check out the second channel, all the links will be in the description if you want to see the clips from the live stream. Go and watch another video. Check out the link in the description for the camera if you want to check that out. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, a good update to come. Bye!